Hello everyone and welcome back to Deus Ex. This is episode 7. Last time we went back to Battery Park on the trail of the Ambrosia Barrels that Paul failed to get for us, for you Natco. And then eventually it led us to LaGuardia Airfield where Paul has been working with the NSF to the surprise and shock of no one and tries to convince us to join his side, setting us up with Lebedev, and we had a meeting, we had a conversation, we got some truth bombs dropped on us, some information about the fact that our parents were opportunists, we were concocted, we had just nothing but tools for UNATCO here, but not only UNATCO, it goes deeper than that, because you've got the whole thing where when we started the game we had our little hologram conversation with Bob Page. He's like, yes, you'll do nicely. Page Industries is in this. It's, it goes all the way to the top. We've got so many conspiracies happening here in regards to uh, the Ambrosia vaccine being kept only for the top tier, the Grey Death being manufactured in a lab, our parental history of Paul and JC, uh, where I was like, it seems like we're the same person, but we're not. I don't know, because uh, I was reading Paul's computer and you had like emails addressed to Apocalypse, but on Paul's computer and that threw me for a second. But we'll see how we go. He's tried to convince us to join. So the primary unit has been fired. Gunther has volunteered to be the one to take Paul out. Anna offed Lebedev because I kept him talking. <laughs> And then we've returned to UNATCO HQ. Very heavy stuff. That was a big turning point of the game. Because that's when it makes it very, very concrete about what's going on here. Vanderly wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. Now, this was the mission that Anna recommended us for. It's like, hey, I think that JC's ready for this. And Anna goes, do it. And obviously we didn't, so she's very pissed off. She's not happy that we did this. Don't worry. Manderly calmed down when he heard that Anna took care of Lebedev. Okay, Manderly calmed down. I like that uh, Lloyd gives us the updates as we come in. He preps us. He's like, he lets us know the attitude in the room, you know? You'll be all right. He's mainly upset about Paul. <laughs> I want to get... I, wanna, I wonder if Lloyd's... You're just kidding around, right? Yeah, I'm just kidding around. I wonder if um, Lloyd's emails update as well. We need to check updates with the whole group and find out what they're all talking about. But I don't have Lloyd's login like I have everybody else's. Paul Denton revoked. Effective immediately, the status of Agent Paul Denton has been changed to revoke. And Denton has been added to the prejudice list. He's armed, dangerous, and possesses intimate knowledge of UNATCO security protocols. Security personnel are authorized you to use lethal force. For a there you go. So he's uh, they've they've given us the whole. Uh, briefing there. Paul is an enemy. You better get downstairs for a debriefing. I know. I better get downstairs for a briefing, but I've got to read the last piece of your email. I'm reading your stuff, Lloyd. See if I can get this last bit. Uh, any information regarding his whereabouts should be reported to Central Security. You better get downstairs for a debriefing. All right. In we go. The story feels uh, very good in how it sets everything up at the very start of the game and putting the pieces into play. It feels like that whole getting deeper and deeper into the conspiracy and getting to know your characters and the story. And then this is where it hits like a big point. There's a massive change now. I'm very intrigued by how they're going to set this one up. Manderly's blowing his top. You better go see him on the double. <laughs> Agent Denton recognized. I was wondering if that was going to be an issue because it says Agent Denton specifically. There are two Agent Dentons. One's had his access revoked. So there's been multiple things that Unatco are not happy with JC about. But they're uh, they're putting up with because we're still, you know, on Unatco's side here. 
you know, keeping up appearances, you know, we're recognizing the uh, the immoral stuff that's going on here. Uh, but they're more pissed off at Paul because he's actively with the NSF. We're still here. They're just observing us. But we took a sneak peek down in the interrogation cells when we weren't supposed to. They weren't happy with that. We haven't taken out Lebedev, so they're pissed off about that. Uh, you know, we're going through everyone's stuff, obviously. They're pissed off about that. <laughs> It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides that? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. Maybe it's the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. Now, this type of conversation is really, really good because it's showing the moral conflict of the UNATCO soldiers. Some a little bit more set in their ways than others, but it's like this conversation of like, um, you know what? I think, I think, are we the baddies? <laughs> Like, can't they manufacture more of the vaccine? Hello, Agent Denton. Hello. Hi, JC. Hi. Very good dialogue to pay attention to, for sure. We already have enough of that type of ammo. Okay. Let's head to my office. keep leaving stuff on my desk for me. Alright, um, I'm gonna remember my login. Ready? I'm gonna remember my login completely. <laughs> hey Jacobson, come by my office. We need to talk about that last mission. In person, not info link. Come by my office after you've been debriefed by Mandalay. Uh, now, I wonder if we're able to have access to everybody else's accounts right now, because that's also uh, important to be able to find out what people are saying. Uh, do we have access or are they going to block us and we have got to go to their actual computers? That's the thing is like, I think Alex, maybe if we try Alex Jacobson's computer, he might have like back end access to uh, everybody's. Otherwise, we only have access to to a few. Um, now, Night Killer should be an underscore, I believe. Uh, so let's try Mandalay's. Can we get into Mandalay's? No. So access denied. We'll try someone else's computer. There's a lot more stuff in here now. And um, I did lockpick this last time, but I think we do have... No, we don't have the, the key. I thought we had the key. We don't have the key. Uh, so there's darts, bioelectric cells, sniper ammo, and assault rifle ammo. We don't really need to get in there. I'll save my lockpicks. Who's speaking on TV? It's a guy. His own special language. What kind of pain? Behind the eyes, a sharp burning, almost electrical. How's your bioelectric level? It's always at 100%. I like to stay prepared. That's probably it right there. Free radicals. You should charge your systems only when they've been significantly drained. I wasn't informed of that. It's a lot like an electric razor. If you leave it plugged in all the time, the battery loses its zero point. Just watch your levels. Interesting. Thanks, Doctor. Let me know how it goes. Mmm. He's always charged and ready to go, but that's a weakness for him as well. Uh, and we actually have his name properly listed now that we've learned it. Uh... But I, my battery is always full, too, because I don't really use my augmentations as much as I should be, I suppose. I saw you listening in. Yes, it's true. 
I have augmentations like yours. Don't you work down in Washington? Actually, I'm the director of FEMA. Sounds like you wouldn't have much use for physical augmentations. You underestimate the demands of my work. We deal with every sort of natural and unnatural disaster you can imagine. But you're the director. You work behind a desk. Am I behind a desk right now? No, I'm not. That's because we have a situation here in New York. I got to my position because I can fix things. You will see shortly because as you have probably noticed yourself, this agency is broken and needs an overhaul. I love that he's like, am I behind a disc right now? The sass from this dude, he's got so much attitude, huh? And augmented, and it's always just like, yeah, I saw you listening in. What do you mean by overhaul? You will receive a memo in a few days. I am still collecting data. UNATCO was very effective this evening. We recaptured the shipment. You don't have to worry, Agent. It's the softer elements I am after. Like who? You're beginning to exceed your clearance. What are you? Angel OA? Excuse my persistence. I'll wait for the memo. Good. Carry on. Excuse my persistence. So we just have bottom level clearance. clearance. Angel OA. I said no more questions. Yeah, but I'm a curious cat. Hey, they removed the public access terminal. Is that intentional? Did they take out the public information terminal to restrict the flow of information? Or am I getting too conspiracy about this now? They've taken away my news reading platform. I was learning things and they've cut my supply. Hmm. Now I only can access money. Get everybody patched up. Everybody except you, you look terrible. I took a few hits this time. Nothing I can't treat myself. Well, let me know if I can help. As usual, take what you need from the medicine. Thanks. They just dropped off a few liters of the ambrosia you recovered, by the way. Good work out there, Denton. I want you to know, we will not let your brother's activity cast its shadow on you. Yes, sir. I'm grateful for that. I just wish we'd found out sooner. No harm done. We have you to take his place. Is a few liters going to be enough? Well, no one on staff's gonna catch Grey Dead this month. No one to take his place, he says. He's got a cool ass jacket, cyberpunk trench coat. Paul said UNATCO uses the ambrosia supply to influence national governments. What do you think about that? So it's true. He went over to the NSF. He makes some sense. I ignored the mission objective of killing his boss, Juan Levadev. But Agent Navarre intervened. What did Mandalay say? I didn't talk to him yet. Oh, you better get to his office. He's not going to like that one bit. Damn. If there's a conspiracy, it's a Versa life. They're the ones making money off the play. Multiple corporations profiting off of suffering. Take it. Money. Money. This, this conspiracy's going right to the top, Denton. Do I have uh, the keys for these? I do. I do have the keys for these. Let's go. What's this? Open. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Forgive me, I'm just poking around. Hiya! I got the keys to this, which means I own this. I can pick up a caution sign and a utility push cart. But why? Okay. I think with that in mind, we're good to go. Don't sweat the business about the 747. I heard they got Lebedev anyway. I can't believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess he got a better offer. What a blow. I don't know how we'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderley available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. It's very interesting, and I think it's uh, it's definitely intentional. Uh, I think it's very interesting how cold JC is as a character, because... 
I guess we're very sort of like yes man in the position that we're in. Like we're replacing Paul. We're the secondary unit. We're this is our purpose, and we're very much like I don't quite understand it myself. You know, like because we haven't had our eyes opened. It's slowly happening because. Paul has got JC asking questions now. Like we're approaching people within the facility and being like, Paul said this, what do you think? You know, it's happening. You the movements, the gears of turning. Revolution is coming. You better not keep him waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> What's up, Mandley? Nice candy bar. All button. right, Denton. What the hell happened? You were under direct orders. My orders. Sorry about not killing Lebedev. He seemed worth interrogating. We don't give you enough information to make a call like that. I guess that means I don't get the op bonus. You can turn in your weapons right now, if you're going to be a smart ass. I risked my life and I recovered the ambrosia. I deserve compensation. We don't have time for trifles. Whatever, take it. But it will be the last one. Clearly monetary incentives don't work with you and Paul. I try to do the best job I can. Just shut up and listen for a second. Christ, JC, this kind of behavior, not to mention your brother's defection, is making certain powerful people very nervous. Nervous about you. You understand the importance of loyalty, don't you? Yes, but... Well, that's what seems to be missing in you and your brother. Brace yourself for an ugly lesson, JC. The coalition has shut down Paul's augmentations and has activated the kill switch. Activated what? He's our enemy now. He's gone, JC. The Coalition wants you to understand that he's just another terrorist, like the ones that have died by your very hand this evening. Can they really kill him? With the press of a button? Yes, and you too. So take these orders seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please, just get your equipment and meet our pilot jock at the helipad. We'll need to take out a man called Tracer Tong, Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? Yes. It's critical that they trust you. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, first of all, JC being a fucking smart ass, <laughs> it's like, I deserve my compensation. He's like, does this mean I don't get the op bonus? Like, the attitude that he's doing here uh, is just like, come on, man, I did my job. Like, give me money. And then this is a very big moment from Mandalay as well, because now JC's going, hang on a minute. They have a kill switch in Paul. They have a kill switch in me. They can off us at the press of a button and shut down our augmentations remotely. JC's going, uh, I don't feel like a very friendly establishment anymore. Where, uh, do I have any friends here, by the way? Uh, maybe. Maybe in uh, Jaime. <laughs> and Alex, who wants to have a word with us, so we'll see. Off the info link. Very important stuff here. However, we're also getting pushed in for an undercover mission in Hong Kong because they're saying it's critical they trust you. Mandalay's pushing us to fake join and gain the trust of the NSF, but that might be one step too far because with what we're finding out here and the information that Mandalay is giving to us, which by the way feels like an overextension of information. I'm trying to think on this on a big brain level. Uh, WS is not giving us information. He's like, what's your clearance again? Angel 0A, stop talking, wait for the memo, stop asking questions. Mandalay is giving us information that is talking about how people are getting nervous and they're getting nervous about us and then he's they're letting us know what's happening to Paul, our own brother. And I feel like that's a test. I feel like that's a sliding a little bit more information than we should know to see how we'll respond, to see how we'll react. Uh, because if there's a kill switch in Paul, there's a kill switch in JC. Will we show our loyalty knowing that information, despite the fact that we now have to go and get the NSF to trust us? There's layers to this one. Uh, it feels incredibly smart because... 
it, it feels very, very calculated in, in that sense, right? That the, the information that we receive from people higher than us is intentionally given because there's such a big restriction on levels of information based on your clearance. And I don't think Mandalay should be letting us know about the kill switch normally. The only way to allay their suspicions of you, JC, is to actively work against your brother's allies. And I have to go and see Tracer Tong and get them to trust us. All right, I'm gonna crouch here, as we did last time, Mandalay, and you're not gonna ask questions. Okay. I'm going into your terminal. <laughs> I'm going into your terminal, okay, whether you like it or not, and uh, you will let me have a look around, okay. Um, Jaime Reyes, excessive force. I understand that what we're doing here isn't kid stuff, but I had an NSF trooper brought in to be treated prior to interrogation, suffering from multiple second-degree burns consistent with repeated application of a riot product close range. One or two shocks at most should have been enough to incapacitate almost any individual. This man had at least seven distinct burn wounds. This is simply unacceptable and violates not only the commonly practiced rules of engagement, but my own medical ethics. I understand that this is not indicative of overall UNATCO policy and would request that the incident be strenuously investigated and those responsible placed on suspension pending further investigation. We got police brutality going down here as well, and an overextension of uh, an, o an overextension of that, uh, you know, power. An NPC said something just then, but I, I don't know what they said because I'm reading. Uh, WS Agent Sherman. I've dispatched Agent Sherman to assist you in resolving your current problems and to ensure that. MJ-12 operations are not adversely affected. I trust you'll extend him your complete cooperation. Interesting. MJ-12 is that base in the sewers, so they're also aware of this. Alex didn't have any of this information on his maps, so he's also... Alex is also getting information that he's not privy to through our eyes. Agent Sherman. All right, thanks uh, for letting us log in there. Um, I wonder if from the head honcho's terminal, we can get into everyone else's. Um, also, something that's kind of, uh, something that I'll do is I'll copy and paste these. I'll add a new note and I'll paste them up higher. That way I don't have to scroll all the way down every single time. And then I can go and delete the old note. There we go. Um, and now we'll try and get into other people's. We should be able to get into Anna's terminal from Mandalay's. You'd think he would have access to, to everyone's, right? Now I wonder actually if uh, German has changed his password. Maybe they've all changed their password. Um, that I didn't even think about. Uh, they might have changed their passwords. Because it's saying access denied. Wait, actually, if it's saying access denied, let's actually try... <laughs> no, it'll say access denied even if you put in an incorrect password. I wonder if that was going to change. Um, so we might only be able to get into his here. Uh, let's try Amigo. Access denied. Yeah, we might only be able to log in on their own terminals, right? Uh, so I guess we'll, we'll try, we'll try and go for that. Got any messages? No messages. I wonder why I can keep interacting with that. Unaco and the police. Um, I think we've read Unaco and the police before. Unaco nabs terrorists in Hell's Kitchen Raid. 
recent raid on UNATCO's Liberty Island headquarters by members of the National Secessionist Forces ended today when UNATCO troops, working in conjunction with local police, assaulted a warehouse in Hell's Kitchen where NSF units were regrouping. While UNATCO casualties were low, few NSF members survived the action, which UNATCO Director Joseph Mandley termed a last stand on their part. We negotiated for hours, said Mandley, and were prepared to make arrangements for their surrender into custody when an attack was initiated against us by the NSF. We had no choice but to respond with force. Obviously, a complete inquiry into this terrible, unfortunate series of events will be undertaken as soon as possible. Yeah, sure, pal. Sure, pal. What you got here? Weapon modification for reload. Uh, what do I want to chuck that on? It's funny because I've been upgrading my pistol so much, but also not using it because it's also more lethal. Um, I'm going to put the reload in my pistol still with that in mind because the pistol is one that I'm most likely to use in an action combat based scenario. Um, the darts I'm still able to kind of from a distance. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll just keep upgrading the, the stealth pistol. And I kept, I've kept the normal pistol on me uh, because I was thinking that uh, just in case someone might like need one or I could trade for one, similar to how Herman, we gave him one. Also, I'm about to do something really hilarious. <laughs> Mandalay, how could you? You, 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 you dog. I'm going to plant some Zyme in his office. Um, you're Jay Reed. What's the idea, JC? I don't know. No, wait. You're not Jay Reed. Are you Jay Reed? You are Jay Reed. Red shoes. You're going to make a mess. You're going to make a mess. I'm reading your emails. I can't get into her own terminal. Which means that she may have changed her password. So I'm just going to have to... I'm sad that I don't have full access to read all of the emails. All right. Oh. No email today. Sure. Never should have transferred. Never should have transferred. All right, we're going down. <laughs> now there's someone... Then what you do? I chased them into the building. Weren't you scared? A little, but when I'm wearing this helmet, I've learned to set aside the instincts of a civilian and be completely professional. They had assault guns. Tactically, I had the advantage. It was important to act before the situation changed. How you troopers do it, I can't imagine. <laughs> Shannon. Agent Denton. That's too bad about Paul. That's well, too bad about Paul. Slugs, I had a job to do, and I did it. Amazing. It was just blind luck that one of the terrorists was carrying orders from Lebedev. We never would have known about the airlift if you hadn't been so courageous. Oh, no, no. Don't start that. Just following orders. And we might never have recovered the shipment. It all depended on you. Well, I was happy to do my part. She's so into him. She's like, oh, you're a hero. Okay, let's check in with Sam. Let's see what he has to say about us this time. Last time we bragged and he was like, hmm, I don't like that. How are you holding up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about Lebedev. You refused an order to kill in cold blood. Precisely your duty as a UNATCO peacekeeper. Manderly certainly does. You'll cool down. The important thing is that you obey your conscience. Right. Tell me what you need, and I'll load you up. Nice, he likes this more. Oh. A gip gun. <laughs> um, I'll take tranquilizer darts for the crossbow. That's a nice one. To shift more into that sort of non-lethal attitude. I'll take the tranquilizer darts for the crossbow. A man of tactics. I like that. 15? Oh no, 15 is how much I have in total. So I think he only gave me... I had 11. 
I think. So he gave me four. Okay. I hear they're shipping you out to Hong Kong. Hate to see you go. We have a satellite dish out there. Okay. Um, you don't need these, do you? You better leave that asinine behavior right here, soldier. It will get you killed. Beyond task, Agent. I don't need that, though. This is no time to be messing around. Oh. All right, sorry. Oh, God. Why is that so ominous? <laughs> Dude. Uh, the threatening aura of him just standing in the hallway. I have good reason to hold back the announcement. Okay. You do that, sir. I'm going to use this computer now. And you're not going to look. Hopefully you don't have eyes in the back of your head. <clears throat> okay, so this is Anna Navarra's computer, and I always forget how to spell the goddamn username. What is it? Because it's Anavara. Yeah, it's A Navarra, right. It's first letter of the first name, and then the last name, and then Scry SBC. God damn it. Uh, Gunther doesn't have a personal terminal from what I've been able to find. Um, I'm gonna try here though. Access denied, okay. So no email on Anna's computer. Not much happening down here, Agent. We had to execute the prisoners. Uh, we? You mean Walter? Mr. Walton Simmons? Walton Simons? Simmons? Okay. Let's speak to Jaime. I've got an augmentation canister, and he said that I can also get more uh, med kits. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Candy bars. Uh, yeah. Your nano key ring doesn't have the right code. Why are you saying that I can go in the medical cabinet if I don't even have the key for it? You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to use a lockpick every time. Looks like the cleaner bots were busy while I was gone. Oh, they cleaned you out? Okay. Um. <clears throat> Amigo. Okay, Francis Hamilton, best guess. Thanks for the email. Sorry I haven't been to reply before now, but we've got our hands full here. Everyone's working 24-7 trying to isolate the Great Death Vectors. While things haven't been too bad here in Atlanta yet, the reports I'm getting back from the field operatives in NYC aren't as optimistic. I'll send you the latest data as soon as I have it, but let me be perfectly honest, the projections aren't good. Initial casualties could be up to 10% of the current population, with another 3-5% to mortally affected by secondary contagions. If you've got any place to head on vacation, I'd go. Until then, if any of your people come into contact with this stuff, I'd say level 3 quarantine is your best option. I've got to run, but I'll let you know as soon as all the data is in. Francis. Okay. Ooh, look at this. <clears throat> Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Dr. Reyes. If accurate, this mistreatment obviously violates any number of rules in the UNATCO Charter and will be thoroughly investigated. However, the situation is currently very fluid, and I would ask you to refrain from speculating further until we have an opportunity to ascertain all the relevant facts. It's like, hey man, just chill. Med Directorate, Augmentation Shipment. Uh, augmentation Canister 10B. MJID. Blah, blah, blah has been shipped via suspension crate to UNATCO HQ for your distribution and nanotechnologically augmented agents under your care and should arrive within 24 hours. If you do not receive this shipment within 24 hours, contact UNATCO Med Directorate. Canister 10B contains ROM modules that encode either the regeneration of energy shield torso augmentation. The regeneration augmentation will add programmable polymerass to existing augmentations, directing the structural repair of tissues and organs damaged in combat conditions. The energy shield augmentation will construct heat and electricity absorbing polyaniline capacitors below the skin, reducing damage received from flame, electrical, or plasma injuries. For detailed information, refer to the nano augmentation guidelines you have already received. Nice, so there's an augmentation canister in HQ somewhere for me to 
uh, get my hands on. You got it uh, anywhere near here for me to for me to grab, or have you put it in the closet that I'm gonna have to use a lock pick on? Hey, feel free to use the closet, except it's locked and you don't have the code for it. Oh, nice. There you go. Augmentation canister. Hey. Uh, that makes two augmentation canisters now. Uh, so we're about to get a couple of upgrades from the medbot. Where you at? Where you at, boy? You want? Medical bot. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Speed enhancement or run silent. Um, hello? EMP shield or ballistic protection. Why isn't it letting me click on it? Oh, there we go, because I've got to click on those first. Speed enhancement. Ionic polymeric gel myofibrils are woven into the leg muscles, increasing the speed at which an agent can run and climb, the height they can jump, Reducing the damage they receive from falls. God damn it. The height that you can jump. But I want to be able to run silently. Oh, that's such an unfortunate trade off. Okay. Speed and jumping are increased, falling damage reduced. But running silent, the necessary muscle movements for complete silence when walking or running are determined continuously with reactive kinematics equations produced by embedded nanocomputers. Okay, so. Slightly, moderately, significantly, an agent is completely silent. So we did hold on to an upgrade. I was like, I'm going to hold on to an upgrade in case an augmentation comes through that I really want to, you know, uh, update. So we're going to upgrade it to Tech 2 immediately because that'll be good for us to still move around quietly. And then eventually, maybe we'll be able to completely activate it and walk up behind people without having to crouch. Run silent. Now, uh, EMP shield, ballistic protection. I reckon we'll go for ballistic protection. Uh, damage from EMP attacks being reduced slightly. So we have nanoscale EMP generators partially protect individual nanites to reduce bioelectrical drain by canceling incoming pulses. And uh, mono molecular plates reinforce the skin's epith... epith... Ep epith... epithelial... Epithelial membrane, reducing the damage an agent receives from projectiles and bladed weapons. Yes. Look at our upgrades, people. Very, very nice. Uh, and we do have a canister. Uh, so I'm thinking... I, I'm, I be thinking... That we be upgrading. But yeah. So we got that at tech level 2. Moderate reduction of sound. So... That's now F7. There you go. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, very good. Thank you very much. Now, he wants to speak in person. Uh, I'm going to have a look at his computer first. Uh, Calvo. Uh, a. Jacobson Calvo. Damn. Not much today. Now, considering he's our Intel uh, IT guy, I wonder if we're able to get into other people's logins on this one. So let's try. Help if I did EI instead of IE. Access denied. Won't let us in. Uh, S. Carter Antique. Shame. The obstacle course. A lot of surprises this time. Paul, a terrorist. Wow. He got me to disobey orders. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him, or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? 
Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. Mmm. He'll erase the archives. I don't know how smart that is, Alex, but we'll see how we go. So, I wonder if the kill switch is actually just a scare tactic as well, and they don't actually have that uh, level of control over the augmentations. I would assume that they would, but there's a possibility that they could indeed be bluffing. Uh, I'll use a multi-tool to get in here, because I forgot what the code was. I think uh, it, you, once upon a time it was on uh, the computer uh, for Alex Jacobson, but there's no more emails. Oh, classic. We traded a multi-tool for a lockpick, which is actually fine because we have less lockpicks overall. Okay, he's had a conversation with us. Uh, I think with that in mind, we meet Jock at the helipad and we get taken to a new assignment. So we're traveling the world, baby. We're going to Hong Kong. It's very interesting. There's developments. I have to get them to trust me completely. Now, I don't know if we're going to get uh, emails after briefings or not. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought it was worth checking. Could potentially be like new emails. But the emails just update each time you come to the HQ. So long, Agent. So long, Scott. Um, let's have a look at what I'm rocking with right now. Um, yeah, that'll be fine for now. We got the, the darts, we got the baton, we got the pepper spray, you know, our greatest ultimate weapon here. And our riot prod, which has a lot of charges in it, uh, we've actually have the maximum amount, so I should probably use this more uh, to make use of those charger rounds that we find in the wild. Yes, maybe I'll try stab him more than once because I stab him and then I whack him. But maybe we can just do a double stab. We'll miss you, Agent. They're just getting rid of me. Strange you were reassigned so soon after only one day. Mm-hmm. But it's because this shit. It's going right to the top, Lloyd. This area is off limits. Now, before we get in the helicopter, I will check here again. Okay, it doesn't look like anything in there this time. Um, crowbar, okay. Who's the thief this time? Because that's the thing, there was a potential thief. It's, I mean, it turns out it's actually me. Uh, 12 gauge sabot shells. I'll take those and use the terminal this time. <laughs> NSF 001, smash the state. I mean, there's not really much to do here, is there? Gonna turn all the cameras off. Turn all the cameras off. Nobody's watching anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Flying to the other side of the world. I'm taking you to New York. My orders are to go to Hong Kong. Your brother's in trouble. You need to meet him in Hell's Kitchen at the apartment. What's wrong? I'll let him speak for himself. He just wanted me to get you to the hotel. Yo. Okay. Jock, are we doing what we're supposed to do right now? This is trouble. We're going to Paul's apartment. Alright, time for him to learn us something big. Unexpected. Okay, so we're on the rooftop, Hell's Kitchen. He doesn't have much time. Because of the kill switch, so is Jock on Paul's side? Be discreet. He doesn't want any trouble with you, Natko. Damn. Okay, we'll save. I guess I've got enough bioelectric cells to maybe do this sometimes. I kind of wish that the game was just in general brighter. Your brother's hurt pretty bad. You'll find him at the apartment. If he can walk, get him to come with you. I can pick you guys up in Battery Park. Ooh, okay. 
And I know that I can just up the brightness, but it, it's a, it makes the game look a little... Yeah. Makes the game look a, a little... unnatural. Uh, but also, in terms of like a viewing experience, I understand that it's probably quite a struggle to watch a let's play of a dark game, so you, you kind of have to sacrifice sometimes. If I was playing it just on my own time, it's bearable because, you know, I can make do, but then visually watching it, you're like, eh. So, I don't know. Oh! Oh. Uh, oh. You've been pissing again. All over the goddamn bathroom floor, man. Hello? <laughs> you just in the corner there. Is this kill switch real? What's it going to do to you? I'm afraid that's uh, classified. Manderly said you're going to die. You've got to have God clearance to, to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know, Jock? First, you're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF distress code. UNATCO tracked Lebedev to the other NSF bases and a silhouette in France. I came to get you out of here. JC, you've got to believe me. UNATCO takes payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. You've done what you can for the rebels. Let's go. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter, bypass UNATCO SIGINT? A lot of people could die. My friend Chad, for example, the leader of Silhouette. I'll check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. Damn. Uh, God-level clearance. I love the biblical levels of clearance names. That we're, we're just angels. And God is right at the very top. Which ties into Bob Page's speech in the intro. You sure you're alright? No worse than a bad cold. What kills me is just that they have this kind of power. The power, yes, but the fact that it's been there from the beginning. A lot of things are starting to make sense. You remember mom and dad? You think they knew? Lebedev thought so. He said they were employees of the United Nations. They would never have agreed to anything like a kill switch. Remember, I knew them longer than you did, and after what Tong showed me, I'm pretty certain we don't have a stitch of DNA in common with either of our supposed parents. A stitch of DNA in common with our own parents. They've opened up the street behind the bar. The NSF base is on the other side of the tunnel. God damn. Also, confirming that the other groups are in this as well. So we've got uh, Silhouette. Also, Silhouette being a French group, but the leader being Chad. Uh, God damn, dude. Investigate the captured NSF base to the west behind the bar to see if Paul is telling the truth about UNATCO taking payoffs. If he is, help the rebels by sending a distress signal from the satellite transmitter. Damn, dude. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond. So, we're reading more and more of this. A lot of people say this city looks like hell, Allie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette. The glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. We've definitely read that, because that is a very memorable line. <laughs> Alright, I remember reading that. Uh, Vishnu's Fall, we also read that. And the man who was Thursday. Yes. All right, we, we did read those. Always just got to double check. Uh, how do I get behind your little secret bookshelf, Paul? Um, what was the, what was the code again? Four something, four, uh, four something. Uh, 
Oh, I count back from four. Four, three, two, one. Four something. See? <laughs> Open up. I'm investigating. So he's, apparently, the kill switch is real, right? But he says it's no worse than a bad cold. Like, hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember that he didn't have a chance to get us our own net account. Okay. Uh, augmentation. I genuinely think I'm going to go uh, straight for Tech 3. Significant reduction of movement. Because I'm some I'm someone who, uh, you know, I'm already really good, like kind of a master at stealth. Um, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit more of an edge, you know? Just a little bit more. <laughs> Subdermal, I'll probably want to upgrade as well. Because, uh, you know, even though I never get shot and I never get caught, you know, it just doesn't hurt to have a little bit of uh, protection, you know? You never know. Damn it! No emails. How dare you, Paul? Send messages so that I may read them. Okay. I cannot even see in there. Jesus. That is literally just darkness. Alright, so we've got to go to the place by the bar. Um, I've got the key to this place. Close the door and lock it. I need to protect my brother. Why won't it let me do it? It won't let me close the door. He's not my boyfriend. Ha! Huh. And what is he? He's Jojo. God! I don't like him staying in my hotel. Then evict him. How'd you get mixed up with someone like that in the first place? Jesus, Dad, do you expect me to do it? It's your hotel. I just don't want any trouble. Then get used to it. JoJo's the boss on this street. Nothing anybody can do about it. Sandra went back home. Mind your own business. Okay. What's the trouble? None of your business. One of the neighborhood thugs, JoJo. He thinks he owns the block. I can straighten him out. Just tell me where he is. I get some rough people in here, but this guy, I don't know, he's jumpy. He's just a punk. I'll take care of it. Can you help me out? I could really use a gun for protection. We have been saving a pistol for a moment like this. Uh, because I was like, Gunther wanted a pistol once, and I had to part ways with my only one, so I'll hold on to that just in case. Um... Please tell me that he does not take my stealth pistol, though, because otherwise we will have an issue. You can have my pistol. That'll keep you safe. Thanks. That'll help. You aren't going to shoot nobody. Jesus. Be careful with that. You're going to get him killed. Yes. I still have my pistol. Um, well, I mean, I could just sort it out, right? Like I said, I could just sort him out. I hope I don't have to use this thing. But if it comes to that, he'll be able to protect his daughter. You're gonna get him killed. Yeah, well, you know. Do I have another choice? Like, I can go and deal with it, right? Oh, is this the guy? Oh, yeah. you bad. This is Jojo. Keep out of the way. Okay, hang on. He's gonna go and talk to him right now. So now we actually get to see if this will, uh, if this will happen or not. This dude could potentially be, uh, an issue that could be dealt with, right? He doesn't seem like a good person. He's green at the moment, but we'll see. What you just lying around for, girl? What? I told you, Bar Rush is money, it's business. In a minute. That's my daughter you're talking to. I already explained it, old man. Your girl, she needs me. She don't got an education, and all you got to give her is a job killing rats. This is my hotel. I want you to leave. Next thing is, I explain it to Lobruto. Is that what you want? 
I'll go already. Leave him alone. That's it. I've had it. I had to help, just in case. I had to help, just in case. Come back. You don't have to run anymore. It's okay. It's over. It's okay. I know that killing someone can be traumatizing, but you can relax. I've saved you. I have... Okay. Okay. Oh, that's weird. There's no... There's no dialogue to be had here. Okay. Hang on. I keep, like, falling through the floor. Why am I... I'm falling through the floor. And the music keeps repeating itself. Oh god, why is everything being weird in here? Why have I broken it? Okay, just... Just you go back to where you're supposed to go. Maybe I wasn't supposed to interfere, but I just didn't want to see an innocent man die. I'm going back in. We got him! I was hoping I'd run into that punk. I can't believe you shot him. I won't stand by and let somebody treat you like that. Oh, that's just Jojo. He talks big. I think he'll be happier without that guy around. Now maybe you can stay home for a while. Dad... Or at least stick around the hotel. I just want to know that you're safe. I don't know. Maybe. Give it a try. I promise I won't cramp your style. Maybe I'll stick around until I get on my feet. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get moving. Nice. Well, I, help I helped him out. Now I just gotta do something about Johnny. I'm glad that's over. I'm glad that's over. Oh, well, now you gotta dispose of a dead body, I suppose. Alrighty then. I helped him out. I actually got to use my stealth uh, pistol for the first time in so long. Uh... I don't be getting many account numbers in this uh, in this game, as I'm probably missing them. So it's a, it's a good thing I can do this. Um, all right, we've got a public access terminal, public computer terminal. What's new in the world? A terrorist attack at La Lagardia. The recent terrorist attack on Liberty Island and the resultant reprisal by UNATCO forces appears to have spilled over onto a private airfield at LaGuardia Airport where fighting is still going on at the last report. All inbound flights being rerouted to JFK International Airport while outbound flights have been suspended until further notice. Look for further updates as more information becomes available. And Page? Bob Page donates to area clinics. Today, Bob Page made a record donation of over 10 million credits to the Clinics and Hospices Association of New York, the largest private donation in the organization's history. Already strained to the breaking point by the influx of patients suffering from the Great Death, <clears throat> The donation was a gift from God, according to Ray Kobo, Deputy Director of Chani. This couldn't have come at a better time and should allow us to dramatically improve our services. It was the right thing to do, commented Page. When I was in New York recently, the suffering that I saw on the streets was unconsciousable. Thomas Aquinas, a personal icon, worked his entire life to ease such terrible pain. This is the very least I could do. All for show. It's all for show. Okay. So he's done a substantial donation. We're out on the streets. Okay, so behind the bar, so down that way, I think. But I want to go and have a look around elsewhere as well. We'll see what we can uh, discover. Hell's Kitchen seems to be sort of like the place in this game where you're able to kind of explore and experience a lot of optional things. I wonder if that'll be the same in Hong Kong. Your buddies at UNATCO asked us to steer people away from the Tan. Now this block is about to heat up again. <coughs> okay, so when you can't go into places that you were able to previously, you can see that they're all been uh, closed up. Can we still go down into the sewers? We can, it's still unlocked. 
like that's the that's the part that has me the most curious right it's like can i just literally go back down like into that facility or would that be a complete waste of my time you know like i can go back in here and just drop in and look there's ammo you know and there's bodies but look there's uh there's an ammo crate here that was not here last time <laughs> And I get skill points being awarded as well. Huh, there you go. Uh, that reminds me, we're at 2450. Uh, we're saving up for our next low-tech weapon upgrade, I believe. Oh, it's, it's hard, because I, I want to push myself in a few areas. Electronics would be nice. I feel like I kind of got to give up on it at this point. I'm not even trained in swimming, but like, yeah. So if we're advanced at computer, we can moderate increase in detection cooldowns and a decrease in lockout times, as well as gaining the ability to control automated gun turrets. So you can actually control the turrets. Hmm. I kind of want to get us to master at something as well. Okay, so getting some skill points, having an opportunity to stock up by being in this area, which is actually kind of interesting. Um, let's check out the security computer terminal, uh, which we did have the access, which was... Trying to use my brain, but I don't think uh, I don't think I'll be able to remember it. So we'll go back. Um, I wonder if we could get yeah, uh, MJ12 coup d'état. <clears throat> MJ12 coup d'état. Do I not know how to spell? I think that's another case of I don't know how to spell. Maybe we're just not able to access it anymore. Yeah, I, why did I say coup with a T? I'm an idiot. I know how to spell coup. So we can still rotate the bridge. Oh god, hang on. I'm supposed to check out the security. Security? No signal, huh? Do I want to bother checking out this facility? I kind of do. So the cameras are off. Interesting. I, there was not a body here for me before this. This is now different. Oh god, what's the what's the code? Hang on. Do I have the code in my notes as well? I think I do. Um two one six seven. Yeah, okay, two one six seven. I don't wanna set off these turrets. I'll just do it. <laughs> I'll just set off the alarms to this place. <clears throat> Maybe I'll let the alarm chill out a bit. Okay, wait for the alarm to time itself out. Um, is there bodies up here like there were last time? Nope, the bodies have been moved. There are no longer bodies there. And that's just another way out of the sewers. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm a free man. I'm innocent. I tell you, I'm innocent. Okay. Oh, actually, hang on. Look at that. <gasps> Look, they've caved it in. They're covering it up. Oh, and they've dumped more bodies in here. So, are we to... Are we to believe that with my discovery of this facility and what I've done 
that they've had to actually eliminate all the personnel and destroy the place and move. And, oh, and we know that um, Bob, I think it was Bob, or Walton, one of the big wigs, uh, did the email about MG12. So they're aware of it. So they've actually been dealt with. I love that you can actually go and find that out. Sick of being shoved around. I'm just minding my own business. No escape. Okay. I'm just walking around, buddy. Okay, so let's take a look down here. I wonder if you can check in with the uh, check in with the smuggler as well. Like, can I do all of this stuff? Yes. Password. Bloodshot. Yeah, so we can, we can go back down here. We, we see we've got stuff to do in terms of the main quest, but you can also follow up with some previous things. Get new items, get some new uh, updates on what's going on in the world. They've added the security to this once again. God damn it. They've given me my free multi-tool <laughs> to bypass it, but I think I can just do this, can I? I can uh, take this ladder. Um, or oh no, this was this was the alternate entrance, not if you didn't have the password. Okay, uh, I guess we're using the tool. I'd say it's like worth it just to get a potential update on what's going on down in this these parts. I'm getting skill points for revisiting. Lay low for the next few hours. Tell Paul he better lay low. Now what do you want? Anything for sale? Hey, about your brother. If he's in Hell's Kitchen, he's a sitting duck. So you heard that he went over to the NSF? Yanako's got this place nailed down. One thing they can't stand, an agent gone AWOL. Maybe I should prepare for the worst. What do you have for me? Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you an extended clip that'll fit most handguns and rifles for 500 credits, a range weapon mod for 800, or a napalm canister that fits most flamethrowers for 750. I got money. I actually think I'll cash in on these. Um, range and an extended clip, I reckon. I'll take the range mod for 800. Deal. Uh, I've got 4,500 credits. This is what I've got. And extended clip. Yeah. 500 for an extended clip? Sure. Deal. Nice. This game rewarding you for your exploration is something I really appreciate. That's awesome. So we're going to upgrade the range of my pistol. Uh, and we're going to upgrade the clip capacity of my pistol. So we've got an extra one round now. <laughs> so we're up to 12 for previously from the upgrade of 11. This is what I've got. No. Not interested. How's life on the outside? So far, so good. I'm already back to my own research. What are you working on? My Ellen. Sometimes we can't sell prosthetics because people are afraid of nerve damage. Synthetic myelin? A genetic treatment. I thought for a long time that if we could make people's nervous systems a little more resilient, we could put a good price on some of the junk smugglers collected over the years. I see. I see. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Thanks again for getting me out of that lab. I'm hacking in. Do you got something for me today? Uh, need passage public terminal. Oh uh, God, I want to read this stuff. All right, when you need information, hack a man, screenshot, take photos with my eyes. So public terminal, need passage. 
You met me once when doing business with Lebedev. I got the impression you were a professional then, so I'm going to try and handle this professionally now. I need passage out of this city, underneath the official radar, for me and for two other people. We're prepared to keep our mouths shut. We're prepared to pay. We don't care how. We don't care where. Hong Kong, Lagos, uh, Paris, if you can. But anywhere that's outside of the country. I've hacked this terminal with an account that should be active for the next 24 hours. I'll check it periodically for your response. Decker. And we've read Decker's name with the NSF. So they're trying to get the NSF people out of there. There you go. And then the second one here is uh, polio vaccinations. Level Bean. Jimmy Hoskins wrote, why Crystal Palace is only the upper level of a much larger repository of data. Complete genetic records of every human being on Earth gathered during the polio vaccinations and supplemented by periodic influenza vaccinations since then. In truth, the whole idea that Crystal Palace was HQ to NORAD was a brilliant deception as a secret Soviet American pact. Come on, Jimmy. In her 2013 book, The Wheels Come Off, Ophelia Carter persuasively demonstrated that there could have been no Soviet American pact. As America had already sold out to the greys, far from being shams, the polio and influenza outbreaks of the later 20th century were merely test runs in a larger governmental biowarfare program that used its own populace as guinea pigs. Next time, get your facts straight. Shiro Yoshitaka, when everything is permitted, nothing is free. There you go. Conspiracies. So even polio and influenza were part of the whole... Uh, the best thing is to stay out of your neck. Part, part of the whole shtick. It's all a conspiracy. Even further uh, into it. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Uh, soda. Uh, security keypad. Let me in. Um, two tools. Do I have the code to the smugglers? Uh, thing, or did I have to hack this last time? Can't remember. I don't think we have the code for this, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use my two tools to get in. I got tools, I may as well use them, dude. I have a terrible uh, habit with my video games of resource guarding. Recoil and clip, nice. And ballistic armor, which I now have a ballistic upgrade anyway. Uh, yeah, I have a terrible habit of just like holding on to my resources heavily. Uh, recoil, sure. And clip, once more, we'll go for the pistol, so we're at 13 bullets now. Alrighty. I would say that was worth it. Now, it depends if we actually end up going up against UNATCO agents eventually, if we do turn tail, because then I'll actually be using my assault rifle a little bit more than I would normally. And up we go. This is cool that this can all still be interacted with. down here. They've cleaned up the streets since that event happened, where I say failed to save that man's life. You do want to just like check around the corners, huh? Because you're like, you never know. Whoa! Ooh. You want to check around the corners because you never know. Dude, alright. We lamb in it. Um, try and get away from the explosion, but like, I gotta throw it to get, get it to land here. Alright, we're going to... What is it? 25%? Yep. Blow this bad boy. Ooh! Oh, I just wasted that. This is this area. This is where that is. Huh. Now remember back when we were in Hell's Kitchen and we climbed out of Smuggler's Hideout and we we're like, oh, where are we? Probably an alternate, you know, place to get in. 
that's how you get in. Amazing. Well, that way is open now, and it only cost me a lamb to find out that information. Don't you love when that happens? Very good. Okay. Uh, that could have been avoided. So that was a waste of resources, but that's all right. There will always be more lambs. Right, and we've got the bar here. Uh, this is new. Ten dead in gang slang, APR. The simmering gang war in Hong Kong exploded onto the streets overnight when ten were killed during an attack on a local establishment, the Lucky Money Club. Located in the Wan Chai district, the Lucky Money Club has generally been associated with organized criminal activity. Eyewitness reports were few, but local authorities suspect that members of the Luminous Path Triad may have been involved in the attack. All ten victims had extensive criminal records. Each was killed with traditional weapons, their throats savagely cut in an ancient ritual typically employed as a punishment for betrayal. Damn. That's just... <clears throat> That's just some casual news paper reading right there. Why is this open? Can we, uh... Where does this go? I remember this being open before. Oh, is this... is this all, all new? This is mysterious. Who's this guy? Oh no, this is... Hmm. I thought they were shipping you off to Hong Kong. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. Probably had something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. Nice. Two-faced brother. I don't care what they say. Paul was a great agent. I hate to see him go. Um, is this... This would be, like, where we went to go turn off the... the radar? Interesting. Okay. Aha! I'm getting better at looking around. Hiya! I think once you figure out how the game is positioning things and hiding stuff, you can have a bit more of an efficient look around. You'll need to send the signal from the satellite dish on the top of the warehouse. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. Thanks, Paul. Alright, this is where I'm supposed to go. This is what they would what uh okay. This is what Paul was talking about. So never mind. I thought I was uh, having a fun time uh, going in optional directions because for some reason he because he mentioned the bar. I thought I had to go to the bar first. Don't ask me why. Don't question my motives. They are unknown even to me. Damn, they really be hiding. Yeah, they really be hiding behind all of these places. I wish you could pick this shit up without having to put your weapon away. Hey, hey, it's all stuff I don't need. Uh, we're gonna go check the bar real quick. In that case, no wonder this was the pathway is now open, is what they were talking about, and it is near the bar. I always get excited by a new pathway. Then I forget that it's where we're actually supposed to be going. Okay. Nice, we got some accounting details. Provided you with a copy of your bank account and PIN number. Did that get added to my notes? It did. Uh, we'll go to the ATM, promptly. Brother, what do you mean? It's not 
not letting me in. Is it because I hacked into the ATM that it doesn't actually let me uh, get into a, a normal account? You have to do one or the other? I guess that would make sense. What's the vibe here tonight, everyone? Perfect. Someone who can tell me about the raid. What I want to know is how my boss found out that I talked to you. You're the investigator. You tell me. I think one of us told him. If I knew him, I wouldn't have to question you, now would I? Just answer one thing. Why are they closing the bar and clearing out the streets? What could be worse than the fighting earlier this evening? I wish I had an answer to that, but even if I did, it wouldn't be any of your business. No optional thing to choose here, but I was actually going to maybe tell him information considering a potential, you know, leaving UNATCO. How about I interview you? Tell me what you've dug up on the raid. What's the matter? Did they leave you out of the loop? I'm the one asking the questions. Must be a high-level operation. I'd sure like to know what it is. All right, forget it. I'll find out on my own. Hmm. The place is almost empty. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, you know the Rentons, right? There's trouble at the Ton. I already took care of that punk Jojo, if that's what you mean. Really? He's dead? Surprised? I'm just glad to see that someone gives a damn about the Rentons. Yanatko seems to think they have bigger fish to fry. Nothing, but thanks. Nice. Oh, got the sh a shotgun behind the bar. So, they brought you over for the raid? That's surprising. I'm not involved with any kind of raid. Oh. Well, then you probably want to stay out of the crossfire. I just assume... So, what do you need? Ten credits? Anything in the house? Last call. Last call. All right, you know what? I think we deserve this. A bottle of booze, please. Drink up. We're about to close. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh god. Okay. I'm feeling it. Drink drink every bottle of uh in this damn bar. It blasted. Image Millennium Magazine. Oh yeah, there you go. The future of business. I already read this. I already picked up this magazine. They still haven't managed to. Hey, yeah! <laughs> oh, I got. Oh. Good. Yeah! Can I just get one bowl that isn't the white bowl in, please? Dude, it, does, it just barely moves. It's got no oomph to it. Okay, fuck. Here's a tip for free take cover. Yanako's about to do a raid. It's, it's our guy. All they said was clear out, we're coming in. Okay. Looking around, boy. The unisex bathrooms. I'll head out the back door. And I think with that it we should actually go where we're supposed to go. I think we've done everything and checked in with all the people that we could check in with. Sick of being shoved around. Oh, we could go back down into the actual subway station and see who's hanging out in there as well. Forgot to head down here. Oh, never mind. Hey, Mr. Unatco man, you guys going after Jojo? I'm not going after anybody. That's pretty logical. Him being hit out in the town. Jojo Fine of the NSF? The whole street's a UNATCO security zone. That's why they sent me down here. They're gonna take that punk out and no one's gonna miss him. You can forget about Jojo. I left him on his back in the hotel. Really? That's it? He's not going to be a problem anymore. Does that mean the evacuation's over? You better stay here until the police say it's okay. I gotta use the street to get home. 
infinite. What's the code? They got Jojo. What more do they need to do? I wonder if you can actually open that. Alright, time to do what we are supposed to do. That was a very good uh, revisit, and now time to go get the truth as Paul is so desperate for us to find out. We know it's the truth. Just keeping busy. We've got a lot of work to do. <clears throat> Who's clearing their throat in here? Oh. Turns out your brother was stealing balance sheets from Unatco's accounting department. Was he then? The civilian authorities will take over tomorrow. Recharged. Oh, I should wait till they get to zero, right? <laughs> I can't imagine what the rebels thought they'd find. A Ten thousand credit toilet seat. <laughs> the NSF sure put up a fight this time. Hey, NSF HQ basement key. Sometimes it pays to be a woman. Yep. Yeah, you know, you know, you never know. You never know when you're gonna need it. And before we check out the rest, just wanted to see. Nope. Okay. And what's down here? to be able to take us up to the roof. Okay. Um, hi okay. It's worth a try. I got a whole list of keys, you know? I think I'm getting confused because this area looks so similar to where we were before. Mm. I need a vacation. But what's it for? That's a dumb question. No, really. What does Unatco need with that kind of money? Just look around. Think Unatco be handing out assault guns if funding was left of the UN? Well... The uniforms. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. Yeah? He's what they call a philanthropist. Axe this file? Yeah, all of it. The whole director. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't, do that. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist. Giving to charity. Oh. Well, that's why he volunteered for FEMA. To help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Some people are just good, you know. Good to the bone. Good to the bone, huh? You shouldn't be in here. We're in the middle of something. Okay. I love that he's like philanthropist, but he's getting mixed it like mixed up with like philosophy. I got the key to HQ, but here I am. Uh, here at the HQ basement. Okay. All I've released halon gas into the computer room to prevent any fires breaking out in case of assault. Obviously, anyone entering the room unprotected will suffocate. Use a hazmat suit or pump out the gas before entering if you need to perform any maintenance. Um, okay, so gas in the computer room. You're gonna pump that out. Um, let's use our... Oh, there you go. 
venting. Why? 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 To be or not to be? Why? Why is there a human skull? Oh, it just shattered. There you go. I'm in. I filtered the gas. Am I able to interact with anything in here? Got it. That's why I'm in here, right? Oh, hang on. What? Why did I even bother? Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Or is, are we looking for a different room? Looking. Keep going up here. We're not clear to be up here, Agent. Yes, I am. Oh no, this is that building, right? I thought so. I keep confusing myself. I'm like, is this the same place that I was before? It is. Personal computer terminal of the NSF. Um, so either hack the satellite dish computer system on the roof and send the warning message directly, or unlock a hatchway in the garage with a computer on the third floor to get the login to the satellite dish computer from the secret area below this hatch. Then three, use the transmitter on the roof to send the warning message. So. We can just hack it and send it. If we unlock a hatchway in the garage with a computer on the third floor, we get the login there. Okay. So let's go. I've got the basement key. I picked it up. We may as well do it the cool, fun way where I actually get a, uh, a code instead of hacking in. And then we can send that message. Crunchy unit personnel only. We will report this intrusion to Walton Simons. Ooh, we will report this intrusion to Walton Simons, huh? Damn. I say I just asked if I could take a look around, guys. Oh, it's here. There's the terminal. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. It's tucked away in the corner here. I'm like looking everywhere else. Right, so we'll hack into this. This allows us to open the hatch. There you go. We'll turn the camera off so they don't see that we've done this naturally. Okay. Hatch is open. Down we go. Not happy to see me in here. It's a living. Should we use the two lockpicks on that? Indeed, I believe so. We see you gotta do it this way because then I get all my skill points. This is this area. I remember us going and running around and checking this out. That's great. Can I use the crowbar to attack doors? Surely, right? That's why there's a crowbar here. Surely, right? Yeah, they'll just they'll just let me in. I'll just use the crowbar, and then they'll they'll let me in. And that'll take down the door strength. I gotta spend lockpicks. Isn't the HQ key? No? I thought 
I got a HQ uh, basement key. I guess not. All right. Well, um, maybe I'll have to use the key somewhere else, or I've missed my opportunity to use the key. Maybe the key was to open the hatch without a computer. That only, uh, that only took off one. What happens if the crate goes in front of it? It'll still like activate the. It'll still activate, won't it? Yeah, I did a little bit better with my jumping that time. It's like a Crash Bandicoot situation. Right, hold on. Don't blow up. I'm specifically nice. I'm specifically trying to avoid chaotic missteps here. I'm putting in the time. All right, we're gonna avoid that. We don't need to be there. We're in the vents now. Oh, you don't need to be in here, Agent. So now I need to find the the code, right? Um, hang on a minute. Where's this code at? Because we read about it. Uh, get the login to the satellite dish computer from the secret area below this hatch. Hmm. Um, okay, hang on. Maybe we'll use the lock picks on that door. In that case, we'll go back this way. Any secret codes in there? Oh, there's a terminal. And another door. And uh, also locked. God damn. Hacking in. Blast doors. Open the blast doors. Open the blast doors. Okay. Uh, the blast doors are now open, so now I can move around. That's nice. So now I can. Well, it doesn't exactly. Exactly, help me. And how does that help me exactly? My maybe I'm not supposed to open all the blast doors in that way. And I'm supposed to do it a different way. Right, I'm gonna use a lamb for this one. Which means I should have just okay. Oh ah uh, oh ah uh, yeah oh. This was not worth it. Ah, uh, fucking gassed myself. Jesus. I said I was trying to avoid chaotic things. Uh, who doesn't know how to read barrel labels that say poison on it? Ah! God oh, damn, dude. Okay. Sheesh. Is this just gonna stay like this forever now? Oh, it's dissipating. There you go. It's dissipating. Who would have thought? Now, that was pointless. It's not what we needed at all. I'm going to go back into this terminal. Maybe I have to rearrange the blast doors in a specific way. Like, if you close one, it's... I don't know. I'm trying to find this, uh, this thing. What's the deal with this one? Okay. Hmm. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, hang on. Uh, 
that's what we're that's what we're doing, huh? Okay, so if I but then there's still this one. I can bypass this one with two tools. Is that what we're doing? Okay, we'll bypass the turret. Because I can't seem to turn them off. Turret bypassed. Take this with me. Oh, that closed that one. Okay. How do I close this one? Nope. I can't. Isn't this just outside? I see. So there's the next one. So if we take this crate. Oh god. Oh. Jesus. Hey look, my nano key ring. It unlocked it. Okay. The gas in here. Is this is this why what I've done? Is this what I've worked so hard for? Okay. Oh dude, I made it. To somewhere. This is what I've worked so hard to achieve in my life. To get through. Okay. Um one pick and there's the data cube. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, I was wondering what the hell was going on, if I was doing the right thing or not. Okay. Sheesh! Now that I know that I've been doing the right thing this whole time, navigating myself through a maze of turrets, I will heal myself. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, let's lockpick. I was getting really stressed out about where I was going. Accuracy mod, nice. And the data cube. And this is the information. There we go. Okay. We did it. One, I have a feeling that one way or another, my time here is short, and I think my loyalties are already being questioned. The inevitable complications from the raid are only going to raise more doubts, so I've pulled together everything I could access without raising additional suspicions. Attached, you should find information leaking Simons, Mandley, and other high-ranking members of UNATCO through covert communications and a series of monetary payments. If you check the records, over 10,000 credits a month is being placed into an anonymous Zurich account routinely accessed by Mandley. The payments were slick, being dispersed through a number of shell companies and orbital banks, but they all eventually originate with companies in which Simons has a controlling interest if you follow the trail far enough back. We've also managed to document some of UNATCO's less than shining operations, including their role in statue bombing. Hello? Most disturbing is further verification of traces suspicious that UNATCO may not only be involved with the distribution of Ambrosia, but also with the Grey Death in some way. I've given a copy of all the same material to Jock, with orders to deliver it to Tracer if things get as bad as I think they might. Be careful. Wow, there it is. And there it is. How do you feel about that, JC? We've got a copy of the note. And now, we go and send that distress signal. Um, a second riot prod. I don't think we need a second riot prod, dude. It just got absorbed by my currently owned riot prod. Okay, weird. Uh, okay. I don't know where this is going to take us, but uh, we do have TNT now, so we can actually make use of this a little bit more, so I can just go... Huh! Oh, 
jeez, ow. Jesus. There's an electronic control panel there. Okay. Um, <laughs> I thought I could get away with doing that. I should have shot it from more of a more of a distance, but that's fine. Uh, look at us. You know, we're, we're, we're having fun, dude. Uh, we're going to let that dissipate. Okay. Um, but where does this go? Look at this security, dude. Unatco are useless. I'm do I'm going going crazy over here. I was gonna get TNT to blow this one open too. Because I'm trying to not waste all of my lockpicks. Damn it, that blew up those as well. Damn it. Damn it all. Damn it all, dude. Um this this sucks. I should have taken that one TNT and done that door first. Hmm. Alright, we'll go and investigate down there as well, I guess. Um, fuck it. Lockpick it is. We should just crowbar doors. Alright, where's this? Hey. Okay, so this will take two lockpicks, but we also get a lockpick back. Oh, look, I found the other side. Okay. More poison and a terminal. I reckon I can get this box from here. How did that... I picked that... Nice! I picked that up and it went through the laser. It didn't trigger the laser. Uh, I'm going to accept that as just uh, pure and utter skill. Alright, let's pick this lock. I really should improve my lockpick skill even more. Alright, that's nice. Uh, and then where are we now? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's... Uh -huh. <laughs> hello, hello everybody. Alright, I'm out. I still don't have the login for the... Um, <laughs> the satellite. But I guess we'll just hack into it. We'll send the message, right? I didn't... I don't think I... F I failed to find the message out of everything down there. I was having a bit of a... bit of a brain fart. That's, uh... That's for sure. Right. Um... Let's go back up to the top. And we'll go to the satellite tower. This floor is off limits. Alright, here we go. Hacking in. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you, Paul. Um oh man. Open communications door. Um there's a bunch of dish rotations. Okay, I gotta rotate that dish. Um, shit, <laughs> which way are we rotating that dish? Maybe I gotta read the note again. Let's break into this, it might have the information we need. Oh, we just broadcast message. Okay, but hang on. Hang on a minute. Um, I don't wanna broadcast the message the wrong way, because I've also gotta do like. Didn't I have to block the thing from so uh, Yunatko can't infiltrate it? Hack the satellite dish, send the warning directly, or unlock a hatchway, use the transmitter on the roof. Okay. But, like, is the rotation of the satellite dish important? Is my... Is my struggle here. I'm gonna make a save game just as a just as a just in case, you know. Who knows? I, 
can send the message, but I don't know if I need to change the direction. Hey yeah! NSF evacuation signal being sent. I can see that the signal is being transmitted, but the satellite is not receiving it. You need to be sure all the dishes are aligned and try to send again. Okay. All the dishes are aligned. Okay. I see. So they all need to just be facing each other? Denton. Alton Simons here. What an expensive mistake Contract, you turned out I to be. Engaging the enemy. Because, oh. frankly, I don't have the patience to wait for one of those damn kill switches to work. Oh! This guy's checked the roof. The kill switch takes time. That's why. He doesn't have the patience for it to work. Oh, dude. It's, it's happened. So, uh, curious. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. I'm not just a rookie. Cur curious. Curious, right? Is, um... If we did this without getting seen somehow, like, just genuine perfect stealth, just like... I wonder if this is an automatic event or if it's avoidable. Um, also, switching sides is still morally complex because the people that work for UNATCO aren't necessarily as corrupt as the company that they are working for, you know? Just because you go, ah, oh, switch sides, and you start gunning people down, you start, like being happy about it. That was one of my core issues with Star Wars The Force Awakens, where Finn has this really incredible character potential and story potential of a stormtrooper who turns tail and joins the rebellion and the resistance. However, not even five minutes after he is out of that ship, he is gunning down his comrades in arms and going, whoa, and celebrating their deaths as they get out of there, being like, this is so fun. And like the the core se emotional scene at the beginning of that movie was him, one of his uh, one of his friends, one of his squad mates, like dying and putting the blood marks on his helmet. And he's like, oh my God, war. Um, and that had such an impact on him. But then it's immediately undercut with just like, I'm on the other side now. Uh, and it's not as simple as that because these people that we're engaged with in UNATCO, like they're also just normal dudes. They're not aware of the conspiracy. They don't know. So killing them just for working in UNATCO is also like, I kind of want to avoid that, you know? Even if they've been ordered to kill us and without even them thinking about this implication, they're going to shoot me, but I'm the one with the moral dilemma. <laughs> you know, ah, oh yeah, you know what I mean? And then, you know, so I feel like, I feel like that's a good plan, right? Shoot him in the face a couple of times, shoot him in the face a couple of times, and then when they get close to death, uh, they'll run away, right? Oh, oh. Oh, okay, never mind. You were supposed to get shot in the face twice and lived, damn it! Also, can we just say how, how good my uh, pistol upgrades are? My pistol upgrade is coming in handy now. Okay. Um, we're gonna try and avoid the senseless violence and the unnecessary killing, okay? That much is for certain. Um, we have pissed off Walter enough, though. Um, I think what we need to do is have these three satellites uh, triangulate, yeah? So, let's get this done. And then if Jock could come and pick me up here, because seemingly he's in on it, uh, that would be appreciated. And if only I had a password. If only I was smart enough. There's a complex labyrinth down there. Okay. Um, it's rotating the face south. It's rotating the face east. It's rotating the face north. Do I just do that? And then that works? Oh, hang on, there you go. Rotating. That one's not moving. This one didn't move. Oh! I 
I'm gonna activate silent running and strength. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Silent running and strength. I'm gonna whack this dude in the back of the. Yeah. Oh, dude, it works. Look at that. Ha ha! Look at that augmentation usage. Alright, let's get back into this. Just my eyes closed. Oh, no, I guess I just click them. Now it's it's done. I can't actually change anything, so I suppose it's done now. And now I can get in here and send the broadcast. That's right, Walton, you can't stop me now. I'm an enemy of Yunatko now. Did that work? Did that work? Primary goals none, secondary goals none. Uh, I sent it. What do I do now? I've got no goals in life. Um, did I do some anything wrong? Has the message been sent? You know. <laughs> they used once upon a time there used to be a ladder for me to get down from here. You know. This is going to give me a tremendous amount of fall damage trying to escape this way, than going through the building. But a few broken legs might be worth, um... A few broken legs might be worth it. I would have less fall damage right now if I had, uh, that other thing on. I'm going to break my fall. Ready? Look at this. Break our fall. God! Stand where I can see you. <laughs> I think it's standing, mate. I hit him and he didn't care. You! Stop right there! God. Hey, you can't shoot me at that angle. That's not fair. Go to sleep, will you? Thank you. Alright. How the hell are we... Oh! My legs! That was not how this was supposed to go! Oh. Right, hold on. Oh. What's this? Oh no, dude. The password. The password! Dude. I came to hide in this trash to heal my busted legs and I find the password when I'm leaving! I've got to assist our forces at the airfield, but I've prepped a security grid here in case of attack. If you're not co-breaches, T. Jefferson and New Revolution to activate it immediately. Oh my god. Don't disappoint Aaron. Oh, all these medkits we picked up, baby. God damn oh. terrorists. Stop, 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 please, please, please. I've shot you three times. I actually, I actually, oh, I don't, oh, no. oh god, oh no, I haven't saved. Okay. Um, I don't think that tranquilizers stack, sadly. Oh, okay, I don't think that tranquilizers stack, which is very unfortunate. Um,. I still don't have a primary goal, even though I, in this save file, reloading this save, I haven't aligned the satellite dishes yet. So like, what's the go? Have I, have I messed up? This, there's one. Oh. 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 How many times I gotta shoot you? He's way too fast. Um. Have I tremendously messed up because uh, my save file before that? I could do, I could do the save file before that. Now this, this is just me being in fear of that I mess something up. So 
I think I might need to do this. So what we're going to do is instead of sending the message, we're going to do the terminals. Oh, what was what was it? Oh god. T Jefferson and New Revolution. Oh my god. Are we going to benefit from dying right now? Hold on. Oh shit. Did I mess this up? Was it New Revolution? Damn it. I can't remember. <laughs> ah! I had the information handed to me through a divine premonition of uh, seeing my own future where I died. Okay, so if I do this... And the dishes rotate. If I initialize this icebreaker... I'm receiving confirmation that the signal went out. You even reached Silhouette in France. Come back to the apartment and let's clear out in New York. Okay, there you go. So I think, there you go, I've actually done it correctly now and I got skill points. The goal has now actually been uh, properly achieved. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, so we had to do the dishes first. I hacked in and got it done. Um, <laughs> we got there in the end. My word. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like I'm going to continue to do low tech for accuracy damage rate of attack. Because that will allow us to be better at our hoo -yah! hit them on the head stealth, especially with our silent running. So we're gonna upgrade that. We now have our first advanced ability. That is expensive, dude. To get to master. Okay. Uh, now I can assume that we'll get the WS transmission and he's gonna be like, you asshole, it's time to die. We have movement here, sir. Yep. Denton, Alton Simons here. <laughs> What an expensive mistake you turned out to be. I have the troops to kill you because, frankly, I don't oh. have the patience to wait for one of those damn kill switches to work. My primary goal is completed, that? asshole. Hey, yeah. Okay, now we just wait for this dude to pass out. I'm making my escape, and it's flawless, and it's definitely the first time that we're attempting this. I didn't make any mistakes. What are you talking about? All right, I got to get back to Paul in the apartment. Son of a right, this feel like this feels like how this is supposed to be going. Instead of having a weird like uh oh I've got no primary goals, you know? Oh no! Ah oh, my legs! Hail this guy and we all get a bonus. No. Guys, remember when we all used to be friends? <laughs> okay, come on out. Okay, I need to see what the Oh ah! T. Jefferson, New Revolution. I got it right! Hold it! Oh no, guys, no, no. I can't die, not in the same place. Please just leave. Please leave, no! Don't kill me! <laughs> Don't kill me in the same place that I was before. Oh, there's so many of you. Why are you just taking turns like this? Please get away. Please retreat. Let's go. No! Oh, dude. Oh, I died. This is the same place. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Can we actually acknowledge the fact that T. Jefferson and New Revolution is the password? It's just not for this term these terminals, I suppose? Oh, my lord. Okay. I'm having the best time. All right. Run. Denton. Milton <laughs> Simons here. What an expensive mistake you turned out to be. I, the troops to kill I know I saw something. Lock and load. You'll never get me alive! 
Right. Uh, you know what they say? First time's the charm, and this is the first time that we've attempted this. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do this time? Succeed in my mission. I'm gonna break my fall successfully. You hear? I'm gonna successfully throw down these very soft cubes. Alright, ready? <clears throat> God, we'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Hey, I didn't break my legs as much this time. Okay. Breaking your fall with those crates actually works. Hang on. I oh, there's so many! I didn't realize that there were so many there. Why am I stuck behind a fucking trash bag? No, dude. What the fuck? Why does the trash do that? Why does the trash do that to you? You're like trying to walk and you're like, Aah! I'm stuck with trash. Damn it. Also, I'll do accuracy on my there. Um, okay. This would have been the perfect time to equip one of these, dude. Damn, I'm such a fool. I need to find a medical bot. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'm getting the hell out of here. Whoa. Stay sharp, people. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Oh, that run out just, that just ran out. All right, we sprinted out with the thermoptic camo. There, I think there's a dude here. So. Oh, there's one. No, 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 no. It's supposed to be a one shot. I haven't even got an increased powers and everything. Get down on the ground! Okay. Jesus. Relax, everybody. Relax. Relax. Okay. Expertly handled. Just some trash bags to break our fall. Okay. Let's go. I'm <laughs> getting the fuck out of here. We're going back to Paul. We're getting out of here. And then we're going... Potentially to Hong Kong, but we were supposed to be going to okay. We we're supposed to be going to Hong Kong on orders from Unaco, but we'll be going there anyway because it's Paul's contact. Uh, okay, how do I? Uh, it's uh, here. Yeah, this is how I can get to his apartment through the window. Yeah. <gasps> uh, I need a small crate. There we go. In. I'm coming, Paul. Don't be compromised. I'm coming. JC's coming. Your buddy Chad should have received the signal. Come on, Unat goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent the signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over Unatco? I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. We don't know much more than the name. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the US government. Agent J.C. Denton, please put down your weapons and step into the hallway. Unatco. Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up. Don't be a fool. Run. Whoa. But do I... Do I have a choice here? Do I have a choice? Contact him. Intruder. I'm dealing with him. 
Oh, get out of the way. Oh god, there's so many. Oh, he's, he's blowing up. Oh my god, there's... Dude, I'm with you, Paul. Sorry, Paul. Oh no! We got him! We got we got this! Get him, Paul! Oh don't don't get blown don't get, don't get blown up into pieces! Get him, Paul! Don't stop walking in front of me, will ya? Oh! Paul, that's me! No, Paul! What are you doing? No no no! Think about this! Think this through! Paul! Paul! Think this through, man! Paul, why is he against me? Too, one too many explosions. Paul? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Location the unknown. Pause. Hold on. That was not how this is supposed to go. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, like, we almost had him, but I think that one too many explosions went off and Paul turned against us. What the hell? All right, hang on. I'll make a new save file. Secret MJ-12 facility, dude. Secret MJ-12 facility. Majestic 12. Right to the very top. Listen to this music. So, was I supposed to just run away and escape? and get there with Jock? Or am I supposed to get captured? We're gonna ride this wave out just for a little bit, but I feel like I want to experience that without Paul turning on me. You know what I mean? I came to watch you die. You're early. I've got at least 20 hours left. I was hoping the kill switch would have started. I don't feel anything. You won't be able to hide it for long. What have you done with Paul? Same as anything that malfunctions. Same as you. Huh. I need you to escape. I can cut power to the door only a few seconds without being detected. Get ready. Daedalus? Dude, that's the... where we've seen that. Wait a minute. What? Hang on, is this supposed to happen, dude? What the fuck? Oh my god, he's cut the power. I'm getting broken out of here. I can't see shit. Okay. Dude, what the hell? I don't have anything. Holy shit, dude. What the hell? Oh, the camera. Dude. I'm in an MJ-12 facility. I didn't get out. Am I supposed to be able to get out? If we successfully save Paul? Without him shooting me? This is a problem. Battery's low and I didn't get a chance to top it up. Oh no, he's gonna see. Oh, hang on. He's not even noticing the cell. Okay. That does work. Alright, I need to aim like a little bit high. Bot, dude, but I don't have a tool. Dude, this is crazy. I don't... Alright. We're in a secret MJ-12 facility. My mind is absolutely blown right now, and I need to save the game, and we do need to bring this episode of Deus Ex to a close, but what the hell? Thank you so much for joining me today. I've attempted to save Paul, and that has resulted in a 
crazy situation. Uh, an absolutely crazy situation. Um, wow. Um, so we now are in a secret facility. We've lost everything. It looks like we're able to uh, get some items and try our best to get the hell out of here with, with like, nothing. Uh, and then, who knows? Next time I'm going to see what happens if we actually try to run away and go out the window. And I'm also going to see what happens if we successfully defend Paul without him turning on us like that. But, um... Holy crap. Uh, yeah, thank you so very much for joining me for this episode of Deus Ex. This has been crazy. I have loved this one so much. So much fun. Very enjoyable. Great mission. Chaotic as ever. Uh, and I cannot wait to see what lies beyond. I'll see you next time.